Europe's biggest startup and tech event made its seventh showcase in Paris. VivaTech, seen as a powerful catalyst for business transformation, startup growth, and innovation for the common good. The conference in the French capital bringing together some of the world's top business leaders, startups, investors, researchers, and thinkers for what they say provides a unique experience for networking and showcasing innovation. Here at VivaTech, businesses, entrepreneurs, and investors alike are really putting everything into this new technology. Take a look at me here on this screen. While I'm standing right here in Paris, this hologram is projected in New York. So theoretically, with this new type of innovation, I would be able to give a full life-size speech of myself, deliver an address, or even talk to loved ones from thousands of miles away. This year, the areas of interest for consumers include artificial intelligence, climate change, robotics, cloud computing, and combating food waste. But VivaTech is not just limited to tech companies. Some of the biggest names in culture, tourism, beauty, and fashion were here showcasing what's new in their business and how they're integrating new technological advancements into their work. Companies like L'Oreal and La Roche-Posay. Today, we are presenting a SpotScan. So SpotScan is a skin diagnostic tool powered by uh, AI and developed with dermatologists to provide uh, solutions and routines to all acne sufferers. What's great about SpotScan Plus is that it really amplifies access to dermatology for patients. So that means for millions of people who have acne but don't have access to a dermatologist previously, now can get reliable an accurate diagnosis and also really personalized recommendations when it comes to skincare. In an ever-changing world, businesses have to continuously adapt their business models to keep up with competitors. Data from the first quarter of the year shows that investments and fundraising have returned to pre-pandemic levels, with $9.7 billion in capital in the first quarter of the year compared to the $7.8 billion in quarter one of 2020. But AI and climate tech companies have defied the broader decline, maintaining their funding due to growing interest and popularity in those fields. The number of AI startups and scale-ups in Europe and Israel doubled in just three years. Hamda Salhout, I-24 News in Paris.